Hey everybody, it's I Want to Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Invoice Ninja on Windows. To get started, open a web browser and download the latest version of XAMPP, making sure to download version 8 or higher. Then we'll download the latest release of Invoice Ninja from GitHub, as well as the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. With all the files downloaded, open File Explorer and navigate to your downloads directory, then launch the Visual C++ installer. Check the I agree checkbox, then click install. Once the installation completes, click close. Right click on the downloaded XAMPP zip file and extract here. Then right click on the Invoice Ninja zip file and extract it to a folder. Cut the extracted Invoice Ninja folder inside the XAMPP folder. Then navigate into the Invoice Ninja folder and make a copy of the .env.example file and name it .env. Navigate into the public subfolder, then edit the htaccess file in the text editor. Find the rewrite rules on lines 15 and 20 and edit them as shown. Then save the changes and close out of the text editor. Back in File Explorer, navigate back to the Downloads directory and cut the entire XAMPP folder. Then navigate to C Program Files and paste it here. Navigate into the XAMPP folder and run the setup xampp.bat file. Once the script completes, press any key to close the command prompt, then navigate into the PHP directory and edit php.i9 a text editor. Search the file for extension equals C URL. Then uncomment the GD and GMP extensions by removing the semicolon at the beginning of the line. Save the changes to php.ini and close the text editor. Back in File Explorer, navigate back to the root of the XAMPP folder, then Apache, conf, and edit httpd.conf in a text editor. Search the file for deflate, then uncomment the deflate module and filter modules by removing the hashtag in front of the line. Then search the file for directory, and replace the contents of the default directory block with the one from the video description. And finally, copy the Invoice Ninja alias and directory block from the video description and paste them at the bottom of the file. Save the changes to http.conf and close the text editor. Next, we need to add PHP and MySQL to the Windows system path. To do so, open Control Panel, then click System. Click the Advanced System Settings option at the right side of the screen, then click Environmental Variables, then edit the system path. Click the New button and then Browse, and browse to C, Program Files, XAMPP, then select the PHP folder and click OK. Double click the path to PHP and copy it to your clipboard, then click the New button and paste the path. Delete PHP from the end of the path and replace it with MySQL slash bin. Then click OK to all the open dialog windows. Back in File Explorer, navigate back to the XAMPP directory and run xamppcontrol.exe. Click the Start buttons across from Apache and MySQL to start those processes. In File Explorer, navigate to the MySQL bin directory. Then while holding Shift, right click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. Now we'll connect to the MySQL database using the MySQL command line utility. And using SQL commands, we'll create an Invoice Ninja database, as well as an Invoice Ninja service account with full permissions to the new database. Then we'll flush MySQL privileges and close the MySQL connection. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash Invoice Ninja. Enter the full URL that will be used to reach Invoice Ninja. And uncheck the Require checkbox across from HTTPS. Then click the Test PDF button. Using the video description as a guide, complete the database connection details, then click Test Connection. Configure your email server, or leave the setting as log and click Send Test Email. And finally, create an account by entering a first name, last name, email, and password, and checking the I agree to terms boxes, then click Submit. Log in using the email address and password we entered on the previous screen. Enter a company name and select the light or dark theme, then click Save. 
Welcome to Invoice Ninja, running on your Windows-based Apache web server. 